Hi guys, this is Shivadi. In this session, I am going to explain a couple of tricky interview question and answers on overloading. Let's get started. If a class has multiple methods having same name but different parameters, is called as method overloading. Now, if you look at the program, we have main method. So, main method is a method name. Main is a method name, and if you see here, we have defined multiple methods with the same name but each one having its different parameters so this is called as overloading now let us see some of the real time examples of overloading the real time examples of the overloading are constructor constructor is in one of the best example for overloading now in this class i have defined three constructors one is the default constructor and the second one is two parameterized constructors which is going to take the input as integers and another constructor i have defined which is going to take two parameters of type string so in this case constructor name is same but we basically have different parameters so constructor is an best example for the overloading the second best example is about whenever we are defining the utility methods. So, for example, if you see here, not null, I have a method not null, which is going to take the string as the input and check whether the given string is not null or not. Similarly, I have a another method not null, which is taking different uh, type, which is the object, and it is going to check whether the object is not null or not. In the both the methods, method name is same, but based on the input what you are going to pass, if it is a string, this method is going to be executed. In case of it is object, this method is going to execute. Okay, so same method name with the different parameters in a class is called as a overloading. So utility methods are the another best example for overloading. Now, another tricky question is, can we overload this overload main method? Yes, it is possible in Java, you can overload the main method, but always JVM is going to be look for the standard uh, main signature, which is main method signature, which is public static void main string, string array of args. As long as you are going to place this particular method signature jvm automatically identifies this is the valid uh, valid main method and it will start executing it but one tricky point here is that if you are going to use the var args let's say public static void main instead of string array what i am going to do is i am going to use the var args Okay. In this case, the JVM or the compiler is going to give you the error because you cannot use var args for the main method because it is going to give you the compiler error. This is the one tricky question. Usually, you will face an interview because var args basically does not know how many parameters you want to pass to the given method. Then ideally, you are going to use the var args right but this is there is an exception you should not use the var args for the main method it is not allowed to be over over oh in the overriding oh, sorry in the overloading main method you can't use string args if you use then it basically give you the compiled error and another example of the um, overloading is you can use the Plus. So this is not the method name, but in order to understand sim simple uh, way of uh, uh, things, right? Now, plus, if you see here, you can use plus for sum. Now, let's say int a equal to 10, int b equal to 20. Now, int c equal to a plus b. So in this case, what the plus is symbol is doing, it basically doing the sum, right? 
but let's say you have string str1 equal to add string str2 equal to add 2 then string str3 equal to str1 plus str2 what it is doing now it is basically doing the concatenation right so the plus symbol is also another example for overloading but usually in the java terminology overloading is applicable only for the method names but if you understand conceptually of the plus it ind indirectly it is also overloading that's all thanks for watching have a nice day